and you can see the list of riders up there on your screen for this uh, next event on the programme. Britain's Tony Gibb going in this one. I think, uh, well, we'll see how Mr. Rusi goes on, because um, they sprint round here and they take one rider out per lap and elimination do up, and then it, they will give them the points then as they go through it. They have uh, four laps to get themselves organised and after every two laps when they come up and they take it out from the front, by the way, not the back on this occasion. And so the first one to go out uh, gets the maximum points and the second gets the second points and so on from then onwards. So reverse of the Devil Take the High Mouse is the Danish version of it when it's all systems go to see if you can get to, at the front. So they've got four laps to sort themselves out. It was Reese then uh, going very quickly toward the front. Reese is lying about second for the front at the moment and one of the German riders in there at the moment. Coming up then, four laps to go, settling down. Very quick on the inside, good move. Uh, looking down the centre of the track then, uh, uh, fell in of uh, France with four laps to go, rocket off the front, he just suddenly left them all for dead. He disappeared down the road and the French are enjoying this one. Bear in mind again that it's from the front to back, so the way he's going, he's looking to try and get those 20 points this time. He's got four laps, in fact, now three laps to hang on there. And who's after him? Looks like the, the Brit is after him too, so we're now closing down. And after him, then, into second spot at the moment, and that's Tony Gibb. Tony Gibb for Great Britain, but Tony Gibb's blown a gasket, gets pulled up, couldn't hold the pace then. Still then going to the French right up, and it looks like he could be getting the maximum points on this occasion. A all out effort for him. Who's fell in? The two brothers here riding for France Rouge, despite the fact he's got black pants. He's riding for the French red team and he's going through there. And one lap to go and he's being attacked now. One of the German riders are trying to get up to him. And he looks like he's going to be the first one across the line, which will give him 20 points. Yep, 20 points then for France Red. But he's going to come thick and fast now because they will be uh, coming up. Looks as if we've got still the German rider hanging on in at the moment, trying to stay away from this little lot. And uh, let's see if he can do it. He's got two laps to hang out there. This is uh, Wachter riding for the uh, German Espoirs, the under-23 team. And he's still out there. It looks like the top boys are watching each other and allowing some of the rabbits with lesser points in their teams to escape off the front. They may pay for it later, though, but bear in mind the uh, French teams still dominating it overall here. The French white team and the French red team uh, up there with Germany. And so he goes, the Espoir Riders gets himself uh, in there with 17 points. And for Holland, whipping off the front then, it looks like uh, Tun Mulder. Mulder start to rip this thing through. Lots of little battles going on with the lower place teams, but um, Mulder is going to hang on and get this one. Yeah, Mulder gets that one, but the French are still going after him. As he pulls up, then it looks like France going for this one too. Bell goes, and for France then, Robert Sasson for France, looking on this occasion for 13 points for his team. And that's France Bleu, they've been battling out with uh, the white team, so that's going to help them to some useful points. He's managed to make it then, so Sasson goes across the line, getting 13 points. Well, it's split quite a bit. You can see the chap top left-hand side of your screen. He's gone off the front too. And it looks like he's going to get himself uh, the points this time. Riding for the international team, I think it is. Some problems picking up as he goes through. In fact, it's not. He's from Slovakia at the moment, so it is, in fact, uh, Liska of Slovakia. He nearly fell across the line, he was in all sorts of trouble, he just about managed to get through there and got 12 points for the, for his, the, the pain and suffering. Now the 
Spanish always trying to pull a fast one here, so it looks like he might be able to work this one out as uh, Isaac Galvez uh, Lopez. Yeah, Bell that, so he's got sufficient of a lead, I think, to stay out there. Yeah, comfortable, looks back there, no problem at all with that one. Riding for the Europe team. And, and off they go again. It looks like what well, the Danish riders and being followed off by the Belgians too, by the Brits as well. But the Danes going to get the points, I think. No problem here, I think he's going to hang on. He's not going to die a thousand deaths. So, uh, Teo Breker rides for the Linda McCartney squad. Got a seventh place in Grenoble in the six day race uh, just a week or so ago. So, Breker gets that one. And then off goes Risi. Rick, go around here. Breker's got that one. So, Risi is the next one to try and uh, get, get some points. So, 11 points then to Denmark. And Risi on the attack now. His long blonde locks flowing beneath his crash at very distinguished, distinguished rider, or distinguishable rider, that's the case. But yes, distinguished and distinguishable. Open up a nice gap, so he's going to get those points without much difficulty. I suspect, and I'll wait till he comes across the line here, that there's a bit of a battle going on back there between the French and the Germans. So Rishi getting that one for Switzerland. My arithmetic is correct, that's nine points. And the thing has split quite a bit now. Uh, that's our chase group going at the moment. The Italians are a bit out of the frame at the moment. Uh, put Marco Villa out there. So Marco Villa taking in turns with Scott McGroy. McGroy at the front. And they, I think it's eight points for grabs this time. They try to write it down, watch the screen. And keep on what's going on down there. Oh, here we go then. Villa starts to go to McGroy. But Glory hasn't quite got it though, Via coming around here taking that one. So McGrory providing can hang on as Via pulls up here and he's certainly got about maybe 80, 90 metres lead McGrory, so I think he's okay there. But they're getting down for the lesser points. Well, I think again, McGraw's got, got to get that one, no doubt about it, out of the saddle. So we've got the fragmented leftovers of, of what's going on out there right now. And for Great Britain, then, let's see what he can do. He looks like he's going to survive this particular occasion and stay out there. So McGraw's got his. And still dangling off the front. All the Force 44, sounds like a bingo call, doesn't it? So Tony Gibb got it all to himself. In fact, there's not much left at the moment now. Well, Tony Gibb and Phil West off to Ghent next week. I'm sure a great big crowd of uh, principals will be out there. We've got alongside us in the commentary box the manager of the six day there. Patrick Secute doing commentary for our Dutch-speaking or Flemish-speaking right, uh, viewers. And we've just got soldiers out there at the moment. They've been swatting around. I think what they're doing, they're saving themselves for the, the, the points event later on in the programme. We shall wait and see. But certainly they seem to have decided, well, we'll, we'll coast around here. We won't bust a gut. And easy does it to get the, the final points. as they're concerned but there are still three teams out there at the moment the camera just picked them up at the top of the track they haven't been watched by the camera hasn't spotted them yet by the way they're, they're languishing up the top of the track well I thought the bells and they done on this particular one at the top of the track we've still got three riders the camera hasn't picked it up yet by the way uh, there he goes, he's got that. Now, whoosh, pass him in a minute now. There's three other riders left out there. The Germans are out there at the moment, riding also in the blue pants, uh, the red pants, France as well, France blood. So the Germans and the and the French are up there with the points. And there we are, this is the Germany after this one then. Weissbenig, Germany, 
Chiza just gets that one ahead of the Frenchman, so he's pushed him down a bit, thus leaving the Canadian rider, the French rider, out there. And the Canadian rider has now gone and sorted out as far as he's concerned with the French, so they're off the front there at the moment. Just see him whipping around there. So Glenn Randall, can the good little and beat the good big one? Don't think he's got much chance here. Or has he? Uh, last blood then going to the French with the points then going to Jérôme Neuville of the French uh, white team. That's why they got red shorts. I thought I'd like to explain that to you. We are in France, aren't we? Anyway, the French white team with the red pants just getting ahead of the Canadian who has to coast around and finish off at the end of it all.